take you on a walk around tour of this stunning three acre property. Nope, not when we're buying. It's actually where we're staying for three days while we're down here in San Diego County. And it was generously offered to us by viewers and Airbnb hosts, I think, you're, I think they're called. Um, they have this home on Airbnb. They offered it to us for three days and we jumped at the chance. Once I saw the pictures on Instagram, I mean, it was exactly right up my alley. Addie and Affie are viewers. Affie told me over Instagram that this is something that she knew I would love and she was correct. So I just wanna take you on a tour around the three acres and just kind of show you what a tropical paradise it actually is. As you enter the property, you come up the drive and you know you're in for something special. The left side is covered in aloe. The right side is covered in agave. When you get up to the house, you'll find that it is totally secluded. On this side of the drive, Got regular bird of paradise right next to giant bird of paradise. Along the uh, eve of the house is a cilantro vine. It's also called cup of gold or Hawaiian lily. These flowers are really big. So down just a bit from the house is this secret little tunnel here. So now over here is the driveway where we came up just now. This Right here is a macadamia tree. And these are the macadamia flowers. And they hang right here and when they're pollinated, you'll see a whole group of green macadamias that will slowly ripen. There's a green one right here. Oops. So inside that is a hard brown shell, and inside that is a macadamia nut. We've got several different kinds of palms. We've got sago palms. God, I believe those are Mexican fan palms. This is a queen palm right here. So is that. Got bamboo out there. I, I don't know if that's a date palm. I can't remember what that one's called. Here's one of the giant bird of paradise blooming. Some really cool bamboo right here. I'm not sure the variety. Really sturdy though, you could do a lot with this. Some regular bird of paradise. Now we're gonna head around to the backyard uh, where there's so much more to see. This is a bougainvillea from the back. It looks like the same one I have. This is a lot bigger. Now right here, these are, I believe, uh, Hadikium ginger, probably white, but they won't be blooming probably until late summer. I've seen those all over the property. We've got a lemon tree. It's got a lot of lemons on it. Right here we've got a large wisteria. It grows all the way up into this tree, which I believe is a coral tree. And right below that, is one of many loquat trees that I've seen on the property. And some of the fruit is just about ripe. I 
Gonna head into the backyard now, where there is something truly amazing up here that I want you to see. Does this look familiar? That is a dragon fruit. The cool thing about this one though, is it's growing like it does in its native habitat in the jungle. It's growing right up this tree. Look at how it branches up there. It's probably a good 30 feet tall. I've never seen one growing like this. Incredible. So now if you really want to relax, the Zen garden is up next. However, the lighting in the afternoon is not so great. So I'm going to film this tomorrow uh, morning when I actually come down here to do my meditation. And uh, I'm gonna show it to you. I'll just put that clip right in here. From the Zen garden, we come to the beautiful pool area. We've made good use of this pool, I'll tell you that. There is a built-in barbecue and outdoor kitchen, which we're gonna be using tonight. Back here behind the barbecue is a view down to the Zen garden and the guest house. There are leaves in the pool and they fall in there all the time because they're covered in these trees, which I don't know, it's kind of a cool trade off to look up at these trees while you're swimming and just to have some shade when it's really hot. You can imagine that would be very helpful. Now, down below is going to be, again, the link to their Instagram and their uh, Airbnb page. Uh, the house is laid out, and that's what you're going to get a lot better views of the inside of the house on there that I could give with the lighting here and my camera. This middle area is uh, hexagon, I believe, something like that. And on this back side is a living room area, living and dining room, that's surrounded on three sides by these huge... Um, pane glass doors and then there's a wing that goes out either side one wing has two bedrooms and a bathroom the other wing over here has a master bedroom master suite and a laundry room and then in the back side in the middle there's a big huge fireplace and on the back side of the fireplace is a um, the kitchen just a view from this side. And talk about view, look at the views. Panoramic views all around of the hills and the mountains. This is a fire pit. We enjoyed that last night after a nighttime swim. The pool at night is, is lit a beautiful blue the barbecue area is lit up in like a green color. 
Okay, so that was the pool area. Now, down below that is an entire, probably other acre that is, I'll just show you. Let's head on down the stairs. Got another loquat tree, some more bird of paradise. A new stand of palm trees here. And this looks like this would be a good spot for a vegetable garden. It's nice and open and sunny in the middle of the day. They have species here. I don't even know what they are. Now, if you're into cactus, cactus isn't really my thing, but... I appreciate it for what it is. There's an entire cactus and succulent garden down here. This big blue agave, I believe. I venture to say most guests that come here probably do not even venture down here. They stay up the pool, the Zen garden. Um, but if you are a plant lover, you're gonna appreciate all areas of this property. This cactus is starting to bloom right there. There's so many paths to wander. It's so fun. In this path, we've got a, a bunch of rosemary on the left side, all the way up. A boxwood hedge. Palm trees coming up everywhere. whole bunch of agave. You gotta see this agave up here. I'm not sure if you can tell how big it is. But it's taller than me. But look at these leaves. I don't know, do you call them leaves on agave? So I want you to get a size comparison here. Of how big this is. I'm gonna jump up in here just so you can see better. Does that help? Now, if you're staying here with a bigger group, they actually have a guest house in addition to the main house with a little balcony off the backside. All right, we're gonna head up this path back to the main house. And these are all agapanthus here. But look at this staghorn fern on, I believe it's a coral tree. If you know better, there's a flower right there. I, I've always called these coral trees. I could be wrong. If you know the that I'm wrong or if I'm right, let me know. But this staghorn fern, let me widen out here. It's pretty big. So this is just um, attached to the tree an epiphyte. Here they've got a little shade house for shade plants. We've got bromeliads, all kinds of vining plants. I'm not sure what that is. Orange clivia. I have a lot of those in my tropical garden. I 
Okay, this is another what I call coral tree. It's got these spines on it. Um, but over here on the back is another dragon fruit that grows right up this tree. Branches out up there. So it's not an exaggeration to say that this would be a plant lover's dream stay. It's great amenities inside, unbelievable outside. Again, three acres of walking paths. You're close to trails, which we didn't do because we've been busy looking for our own property. But I want to thank Addy and Affy for um, just offering us the ability to stay here. They, they said I did not have to film a video, but when you get here, how can you not? So tonight's our last night. We're gonna maybe have some more nighttime swimming. Again, have a barbecue. Tomorrow we'll be headed back to my sister's house for another couple days, just to hang out with them. Maybe look at a few more areas. Oh, tomorrow's video, we're gonna be going to Carlsbad and seeing the flower field, which is 50 acres of solid color. So it's overlooking the Pacific Ocean. It's gonna be really awesome. So join us then. Again, check out the Emerald Bungalow on Instagram and Airbnb. I'll link those below. And I will see you guys on Tuesday when I'll be back home in my own garden.